Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hook tutorial for beginners and this is our part 23. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we create our own custom action hook in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hook tutorial. So basically guys, inside this playlist we have discussed so far about the WordPress provided action hooks as well as filter hooks. So if you have started as your first video session then I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube and now inside playlist called WordPress hook tutorial you can find all the previous video sessions that we have developed. Okay so inside this video session guys we are going to develop our own custom action hook. So far by going to, through all these video sessions of this playlist actually we can understand about that what is action hook and filter hooks. So basically WordPress provides two types of hooks. What are those? First is called action hook and the second called filter hook. So basically these are the WordPress provided features for developers to change the default behavior or functionality of WordPress. Okay, so to make our own custom action hook guys we have to follow some of the functions actually the WordPress provides we have to use those. So if we back to browser, so this is the WordPress setup guys that I have installed from scratch. Okay, so just back to editor. So now inside this folder, this is the folder structure that actually this is to. Okay, so now inside this folder structure guys just go to themes folder. And now as we know that our current activated theme is 2017 okay so just open this folder so now we are going to use our own custom action hook by the help of this actually theme okay we will understand about in deep in our next video session actually where we learn about the help of plugin okay so inside this theme guys just open up called functions.php file okay this is the main file of any theme okay and now next I'm going to open called page.php file this page actually fired when we run any page of the WordPress created pages okay so if you go to back to browser so now inside this pages section right now we have two pages called privacy policy and sample page these are the pages actually WordPress default provides okay let's make a page something called test online page okay this is the dummy page that have that we have created so far okay so let me pass some dummy content so let this is some dummy content inside this page okay so just save this file and now if I click on this permalink open a new tab and now this is the page that we have created so we want to add some of the extra content inside this page by the help of our custom action hook okay so how can we develop that so just back to editor so now this is the page.php file actually rendered by this page okay so if I suppose add any content inside this page so let's say that with an h1 tag let's say that sample page OWT okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that this is the content that we have actually saved inside page.php file it means that any WordPress page actually rendered by the help of this page.php file but now we want to render this content actually by the help of our custom action hook we are going to make okay so just back to functions.php page just scroll down now we are going to define our host own custom action hook okay so first we have to make a function so let's say that function OWT add content to page okay this is a function name and now inside this function let's say that this is the statement that we are going to add so just cut from here go to file and let's say that echo inside the single quotes paste all the contents okay so this is the function that we have to call inside page.php file so directly actually we can call this just copy this function and paste just inside PHP tag let's say that function just save this save here reload this page and now output is expected but this is not the concern of our video okay we want to make our own custom action hook okay so just get rid of this function call right here so just I am removing this go to functions.php page and now we have to make our action hook okay so let's say add action 
here we have to pass our custom action hook name okay so let's say that OWT text call okay so next parameter we have to pass the callback function okay so this is the callback function so just I want to paste it here now we have to call this action hook inside our page.php page okay because this is the custom action hook that we have developed and by calling this action hook that actually this callback function will be fired okay so just copy this action hook go to page.php page and now let's say that within php tag inside this tag first of all let's check that if we have defined our action hook or not okay so has action and basically inside this has action function we have to pass called OWT TXT call because this is the custom action hook name okay and now this has action actually turns the boolean value either true or false it means that if we have defined this action hook it means it returns true otherwise it will return false value so by getting true value it means that we have defined inside any of the file inside our WordPress setup okay so by calling so let's say that do action so basically this is all also WordPress function basically used to call our custom action hook that we have developed and also by the help of this function guys we can actually also call our WordPress default provided action hooks okay so now I'm going to call this action hook so just copy that go inside function of do action and now I'm going to paste inside this do action okay so basically it will actually find that actually we have defined our custom action hook or not if this action has been defined then it will call that okay so if I save this page just go to browser reload this page and now the output remains same it means that we have created our own custom action hook and now by the help of three functions first called add action this is used to define our action hook second called has action basically it is used to check that this action hook has been defined or not and third called finally called do action this is used to make call to this action hook so basically guys this is the simple concept to develop our custom action hook we can actually also pass the parameters inside this action hook okay so let's suppose that we want to retrieve some of the parameters to inside this data variable okay so just go to page.php page and now in the second parameter actually we can pass our parameters okay so let's say that name let's say that online web tutor let's say author So basically we have passed two parameters while calling this action hook called name and the author. So we are going to retrieve all these parameters inside functions.php action hook right here. Okay. So inside data variable guys we actually actually fetch all the details. Okay. So just copy this variable and let's say that print a just paste data variable save this page and now reload this browser. As we can see that these are the variables that we have passed while calling our action hook so basically guys this is the simple concept to develop our custom action hook okay so just back to editor so now what we want we want that actually we are going to pass our post id inside this parameter details okay so right now this is our call test online page this is the page that we have created okay so if we want to suppose get the id of this page so how can we do that so let's say that just declare a variable let's say global post this is the WordPress default provided called global variable okay so if we want to fetch the ID of that page okay so let's say echo post it has a variable called ID so if I save this page reload this section and now we have five it means that this page has ID called five okay so if you want to retrieve all the details regarding this page so just back to editor and let's say that just copy this ID I'm going to pass this ID inside this function call okay so just get rid of all these things and let's say that array inside this array let's say page ID and something has value called post ID okay this is the value that we are going to pass inside this custom action hook with the key called page ID okay so by the help of this action hook we are going to return all the details about this page okay so just go to function now inside this function we have a parameter called page ID so just copy this return to functions.php page and now let's say that this is called page ID and basically it will be inside called data variable and now we have called page ID 
okay so by getting these things let's say print r let's say print r we are going to return all the details about this page id okay so let's say get post this is a wordpress function basically it will take the id of that page by getting that id it will return all the details about that page okay so if i save this page just back to browser reload this page and now as we can see that we have all the details regarding this test online page so just inspect that scroll down to this code section and now as we can see that inside content section we have an object this is object of WP post which contains all the details regarding the current open page so basically guys you can actually make your own custom action hook which will perform different different functionality according to your need okay so the simple and basic concept is about something okay you need to use three different functions first something called add action second called has action and third called do action okay so basically by using these functions guys you, you can actually develop your own custom action hook okay so i think guys that i have explain each and everything about how can we develop our custom action hook in WordPress <laughs> in the next video session guys we will see that by the help of plugin how can we develop our own custom action hook so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day